This is a severe weather briefing from the National Weather Service in La Crosse, taped on the morning of September 9, 2014. We're looking at a widespread area of heavy rainfall to move in to the region tonight. The storms look like they could start late this afternoon, but the heaviest rainfall looks like it's going to be late tonight and into the morning hours tomorrow. Our highest confidence is in northeast Iowa to southwest Wisconsin, where flash flooding, damaging winds, and large hail will all be possible. And our confidence goes a little bit lower the further north we get for uh, whether or not there'll be any flash flooding or damaging winds, but uh, still looks like it'll be possible. The timing that we're expecting, uh, some storms and showers developed this afternoon, but they'll be a little bit more scattered. The main widespread heavy rainfall will come tonight, mainly this evening and into the overnight hours. Expecting about 1 to 3 inches of rainfall with this, with some locally higher months. Some of the heaviest rain overnight last night came in the Clayton County, Iowa, Grant County, Wisconsin, uh, areas along the Mississippi River overnight where they might have had about one to two, possibly three inches in some local spots, but uh, not very widespread. Some of the other hazards, again, the damaging winds and large hail are also possible. So the current radar right now, as of uh, 7 a.m. this morning, most of the storms are right along the Mississippi River here, and that's where they've been producing this heavy rainfall, but we're expecting those to drop to the south overnight. So that's the area that at least initially could have some higher potential for flash flooding tonight if we get more storms to go over that area. So here's uh, over the last two weeks, the heaviest rains have come in north central Iowa to southeast Minnesota, at least locally, and then there's another area up in northern Wisconsin which has been hit pretty hard. Um, but this area right in here too looks like it's had a lot more rainfall that we're a little bit more above normal. So here's what the at least one forecast model is trying to show for the storm evolution for tonight, which uh, is pretty much in line with what we're thinking as well. So this evening, a few showers popping up, but uh, most of the, the heavier storms are going to still be off to the, the west here. As we move through the evening hours, some of these storms uh, looks like they'll become severe with some damaging winds here as it moves across uh, northern parts of Iowa. And then as that complex moves into our area, we'll see our heaviest uh, rainfall moving in, mainly around the midnight or overnight hours uh, until uh, the daybreak almost when these storms move off to the east. So that's what we're looking at for our main time frame for seeing these storms and heavy rainfall coming into the area. This is the Weather Prediction Center's forecast for how much rain they think is going to fall through tomorrow, uh, highlighting most of Iowa where the heaviest rain is going to be falling, and then a little bit lesser amounts to the northwest, but it's possible that some of these uh, heavier rainfalls could occur back into parts of southeast Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. So overall, generally about a one to three inch uh, rainfall event with some locally higher amounts as well. So as a, because of that, we've got uh, flash flood watches and flood watches that extend from much of Iowa here through southeast Minnesota and western Wisconsin on up into the UP of Michigan here. And those mainly start uh, this evening and last through tomorrow morning. So for the other severe weather hazards with uh, uh, large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes, Storm Prediction Center has uh, this area in yellow here for where the main uh, strong to severe storms will be today into tonight. Here's the main area for tornadoes, which is further off to the southwest in the eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. We have a small chance, but for the most part it seems like down there is the higher probabilities of seeing those tornadoes. So then for us, our highest probability is with the damaging winds. You can see the red and uh, for the highest probabilities through much of Iowa and then going into uh, western Wisconsin, a little bit lower probabilities, but still enough that there could be uh, some severe weather there and a little bit lesser chance of seeing uh, some of the large hail. So again, some of the impacts with some of this heaviest rain coming overnight, uh, the flash flooding could lead to some hazardous conditions for motorists, uh, particularly if any roads are washed out or if there's any water moving over roadways. That's going to be an issue for any any travelers. And on top of that, the low visibility with the heavy rainfall as well. So have to keep an eye out for that. Damaging winds could cause some power outages as well. And uh, if we do have anybody that happens to be up and uh, could send in some rainfall reports, that would be very helpful for knowing how much has really fallen. 
So again, just to recap some of the highlights, uh, the main timing is going to be late this afternoon for some of the storms to develop, but the more widespread heavy rain is going to be overnight into tomorrow morning. And our highest confidence is for that to occur is in northeast Iowa and southwest Wisconsin. That's your severe weather briefing from the National Weather Service in La Crosse.